What's up everyone? This is Rakesh here once again. Welcome to the session of design pattern. So in this video, you will learn what is the factory design pattern. Also, you will see one of the program of the factory design pattern. Also, you will see the class diagram of the factory design pattern. And at last, you will get one practice question. So let's begin. So guys, before I start my today's session, I would like to tell that I have made around more than 100 videos on the Oracle SQL. And if you want to learn Oracle SQL in detail and simple way, then please don't forget to check out my description box. I have given the link for the same. Okay, so let's begin what exactly the factory design pattern is. So, so guys, over here, what I will do, I will take a very simple scenario and I will explain the factory design pattern. In upcoming videos, I will take one real time scenario and I will explain that. Okay, so guys, now let's understand what exactly the factory design pattern. So, I would like to explain the factory design pattern with the help of one problem statement. And what that problem statement says that, boss, give me the object of chocolate, vanilla, and strawberry. I want to create the object of these three cakes. Okay, strawberry, chocolate, and vanilla. I want to create the object of these three cakes. Then how you can create? You can create with the help of two approach. The very first approach is your conventional approach. Second approach is your uh, factory design pattern. Using factory design pattern also you can create the object of these three cakes. Okay. Now let's discuss one by one both the approaches. So I would like to begin with the conventional approach and I will discuss the advantage and the disadvantage of the both the approaches okay so let's begin with the conventional approach so very first approach which is nothing but your conventional approach so if i want to follow the conventional approach then what i will do i will create the class of the three cakes which is nothing but your chocolate vanilla and strawberry correct now if i want to create the object of these three classes then what i need to do i need to create a one main function like this okay over here you can see uh, my all the three classes are connected with the my main function okay now over here you have to take one assumption which is nothing but your our client code and client code if i am saying then assume that my main function is your uh, client code okay so this is the assumption you have to take let me summarize over here i have created three classes and i have created main function and main function is nothing but your uh, client code and what all the uh, classes you can see over here these are the library classes or I can say that main functionality uh, classes okay now over here you can see all the classes over here uh, is chocolate vanilla and strawberry are tightly coupled with the my main function which is nothing but your client code means whenever something changes in these classes chocolate vanilla and strawberry then I have to compile this code with my client code so which is wrong i would not say wrong but it's a unconventional and uncomfortable okay so again and again we have to recompile something is changes so that is not acceptable okay over here one more thing you can notice over here i have to create the object of all the three classes irrespective of that whether i needed that object or not so which is wastage of the our memory and if we are wasting our memory and we are consuming unnecessarily then what it will do it will degrade the performance of the our system which is the biggest disadvantage okay so this is the problem with the our conventional approach now how you can overcome from this problem you can overcome from this problem with the help of factory design pattern okay so that we will discuss in a moment before that i would like to tell the advantage of this uh, approach so i can say that advantage over here very simple and very straightforward now let's understand what exactly the factory design pattern and how you can overcome from these problems using the factory design pattern so guys now let's understand what exactly the factory design pattern is so as name indicate we will create one factory and we will feed some input to this factory and based upon this input it will create some output and that output is nothing but your object and in the our case that will be 
your uh, object of strawberry chocolate vanilla all these classes okay and over here the beauty of the factory design pattern is based upon the input only it is creating the output it is not creating unnecessary output okay so this is the uh, one advantage we can see over here in the factory design pattern okay also in the factory design pattern the our classes is not tightly coupled with the our client code how that we will see in a moment okay so this is how we are overcoming from the our conventional problem okay so guys i hope you have understood what exactly the factory design pattern is in short what i can say that we have one factory and we will give some input and based upon the input it will create the object okay so that is nothing but your factory design pattern okay so guys let's start with your practical session in this first we will understand our program with the help of one diagram so as you can see on the your screen this is the diagram i have created in which you will understand how i am going to write the program okay so you can see over here this is the first i will create the interface then later on from this interface i will implement three classes which is nothing but your two wheeler three wheeler and four wheeler okay after that i will create one independent class which is nothing but your factory class and inside that factory class i will have one static function which will return the object of two wheeler three wheeler and four wheeler okay now over here this is my main function you can consider this function as a my client code okay now over here what i will do i will call this static function and i will get the object of this two wheeler three wheeler and four wheeler where i will get over here okay i will pass some input to this function this function will return the object of two wheeler three wheeler four wheeler based upon the input okay so this is nothing but my uh, diagrammatically uh, program now let's see the actual program of the factory design pattern so let's jump on to the program so guys i have already written the program in order to explain you better and fast so let me show you directly the program so guys over here you can see i have created the enum i have created the one interface i have created one class which is nothing but your two wheeler and which is implemented from the vehicle interface as i told you okay you can see over here interface and two wheeler three wheeler and four wheeler okay now again three wheeler is implemented from the vehicle interface and four wheeler is also implemented from the vehicle okay so this is how we have created now over here you can notice one thing i have created or i have written print vehicle function in all the classes okay you can see over here print vehicle print vehicle print vehicle why because over here it is mandatory it is pure virtual function and if i am implementing uh, like this then i have to implement the this function as well okay so this is nothing but your common uh, oops concept now moving on to the next which is nothing but your factory class okay as i told you i have written over here one function which is nothing but your create function and what it will do it will return the object of two wheeler three wheeler and four wheeler and based upon the input what input i am providing from my client code okay and guys i would like to inform you this function is nothing but it is a part of your library function okay you can assume that now one question arises over here why i have make this function as a static because i do not want to create hard line between my client code and my library code okay what exactly it means it means whatever change happened over here or in future something changes in this classes then i do not need to compile this code this code with my client code and what is my client code client code is nothing but this one in our case okay in your case in your project it might be possible something different okay it may be the some other class or some other module or something like that okay for the time being explanation purpose i have created and i have assumed that this is my client code okay 
if I do not make a, this function as a static then what I need to do I need to create an object and if I am creating the object means I have to recompile my client code and my library code if something changes in my library code so that is the reason this is a static function okay so that I can call this function directly using the class name so that is the reason I am making this function as a static okay guys so I hope you have understood why exactly this uh, function is a static now over here uh, there, there is one interview question is there why this function is a static so I hope you have got the answer of this question so you can answer over here okay now let me jump on to the my client code which is nothing but your this is main function okay over here I have created one enum type of variable and I have created one pointer which is nothing but your vehicle which is nothing but your interface okay now over here you can see I have called create function directly using the class name you can see over here now if I will call like this means uh, what happened it will call this function and what I am passing over here input as a three wheeler so what it will return it will return the object of three wheeler you can see over here this object will get returned okay now this pointer is pointing to the object of three wheeler now if I will call print vehicle which is common across all the classes then what happen which print vehicle function will be get called this print vehicle function will be get called you can see over here this three wheeler okay this function will be get called why because my pointer is pointing to the object of three wheeler not the other two wheeler or four wheeler okay so that is the reason it will call the object uh, function of uh, three wheeler class okay now over here if I will pass type as a two wheeler then this print vehicle function will be get called from the two wheeler class you can see over here I have same function over here so it will be get called from this class uh, not from the other classes okay now let me go back to the my client code so you can see over here I have called print vehicle using the two wheeler object okay guys now let me run over here this uh, uh, program and let me show you the output so my program got compiled okay now I have one over here factory exe now let me run over here so you can see over here in the first call it returns the three wheeler and in the second call it returns the two wheeler so I hope you have understood what exactly the factory design pattern is now let me show you over here in short okay you can see over here I have called this print vehicle using the two wheeler and over here I have called using the three wheeler so this is how and this is what the program of the factory design pattern okay guys so let me summarize over here so you can see over here this is enum this is interface this is class and this is a child class or implemented class from this vehicle okay and uh, this is nothing but again three wheeler class similar kind of and this is nothing but again four wheeler class and this is nothing but my factory class okay and over here this is my main function which is nothing but your uh, client code okay guys so I hope you have understood what exactly the uh, factory design pattern and in next video we will mix the factory design pattern and the singleton design pattern okay and in next video I will explain the real-time scenario or real-time usage of the factory design pattern so guys I hope you have understood what exactly the factory design pattern is and if this video helps you in any ways then please don't forget to share this video in any of the Facebook relevant group and you can subscribe this channel for the upcoming session thank you so much for watching for the video bye bye take care